Here's a question for you. Can ChatGPT design a roller coaster? So if you're not familiar with it, ChatGTP is an AI-driven chatbot that you can provide instructions to and it will provide a response based on trillions of data points. It can be used for almost anything and it's got varying degrees of success, but the big question is, can it create a roller coaster layout for us to build in Planet Coaster? And if so, how realistic would it be? Um, Australia's real and I'm not. Go home chatbot, you're drunk. So the first thing we need to do is give it our requirements. All right, so we got a layout, but I think I'm gonna need some more clarity. So let's ask for that to be refined. And now I just wanna check some of the other elements just to be sure. And ChatGTP signed off before I could clarify the angle of the first drop. So I had to plug the requirements back in and ask it to calculate it based on 168 foot height and a speed of 65 mile an hour. And this is what it came back with. Kind of wish I hadn't asked. It's basically 65 degrees. All right, so let's add the human element to this, interpret this layout on paper. I think I've got a viable layout and I think this is what it might look like as a paper plan. So let's just hop into Planet Coaster and bring this to life and see how realistic we can make this. All right then you guys, let's actually put this to the test and see if this coaster is gonna be any good. So here we are back in Planet Coaster, a completely blank sandbox park. There's nothing in here at all. We already know what coaster type we need. It's this one here, the Werewolf Flawless. Uh, so there we go. We also know that we need to be due north because that's what ChatGPT told us to do. So there we go, we are due north. So far so good, right? <laughs> <laughs> we also know that we need to be at 30 degrees uh, incline on the lift hill. So there we go. Uh, and we also know that we need to go up to 168 feet. Now that's 51 meters. Well, it's actually 51.2, but we don't have the control. This next bit could probably get a little bit messy. I think I'm going to go into time lapse mode for this one. Oh my God, it's a Jojo time lapse. No, 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 absolutely not, no way. I absolutely refuse to believe it. I mean, you just saw that, right? You just saw an entire coaster come to life off the back of some instructions that I pulled from chat GPT. I only needed to overrule the bot twice. There was once on the first drop going west and once on the turn east after the zero G roll. But other than that, there was no creative input from me at all. And everything is exactly as chat GPT said it would be. The speeds, the G-forces, the ride, the lot. It's actually quite scary. Now, I imagine there would be multiple ways that you can envisage this entire layout. And I do expect that a layout following those strict instructions is possible. So what I'll do, I'll pop a link to the directions in the description below because I'd love to see your interpretations of those instructions. Load it to the workshop and all of that stuff. And by the way, I'm apologizing for that time lapse. I bet that was a dumpster fire to watch. But hey, that's why you don't get Chacho time lapses. You can't say you weren't warned. Anyway, I've decided to make this an actual coaster build episode. Uh, I want to go and make this an actual, like, thing. So I'm just going to cut to it being done. Here it is.
And here it is in all of its artificial glory. Welcome to the world, Aeronaut. Which, by the way, ChatGPT actually named itself and came up with its own pun. Guys, seriously, it's going to take over the world. It's quite frightening. So I spent a couple of hours pulling this together. I didn't want this to be the usual balls-to-the-wall realism that I would do in a park series. I just wanted this to be some kind of plausible realism because this is an experiment after all. So this is the coaster in all of its glory. This, guys... This was designed by a chatbot. It just needed human intervention to bring it to life. Of course, I did have to correct it twice. There was a right turn that was supposed to, oh sorry, a left turn that was supposed to have been here and a turn after the zero G roll. It made the layout almost impossible. So I had to correct it and create this, but it was created by a chatbot. That's mad. So there's the station. There's the lift hill. There's the first drop. There is the dive loop. There is the zero G, there's the M woman, there is the Cobra roll, there's the bend that shouldn't really exist but does, there's the corkscrew, there's the helix, there is the <laughs> brake run, and there is the station. So yeah, I've just kitted all, all of this out and stuff. Um, I haven't done a, an actual design video on it and stuff. If you want one, let me know. But let's just go ahead and analyze exactly what's happened here. I was able to feed into a chatbot my requirements for a B&M flawless coaster, and I was able to have it spit out with ease a plausible layout. Anyone in the world can do this. It knew all of the typical elements that are found on this coaster type. So things like the heights, the typical transitions, the speeds, where to place them and what kind of orders they would always be put into to make some kind of a fun layout that a park could use. I chose to correct it twice, but I probably didn't have to. A chatbot achieved in three minutes what would take someone like John Wardley months to do. And this is what happened today. I just... I don't know where it's going to end, like, what happens? This could be a series, by the way. Let me know if you want me to do an actual series. Thanks for getting to the end of the video. Feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You know all the usual stuff for the algorithm and whatever. Now, there is one question that we've still got left. Is this coaster any good? Let's find out and take a ride. See you later, guys.